Hey Capricorns, welcome to Eclectic Duality. My name is Alyssa and today we're doing a reading just for you. For those who are returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, show the love and subscribe down below. It really helps me out a lot. But as usual, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay, there's so many amazing readers out there. One of them will resonate with you. And if you don't like the story that I tell in this reading, change the outcome. It is that simple. All right, Capricorns, let's get right into it. Hi, Capricorns, let's get right to it. All right, so when I tapped into your energy, it was it was interesting because I didn't get words, okay? I didn't even get pictures. I only got a feeling. My nose started going numb, and then my mouth, my lips got numb. And I actually had that feeling, you know, when you have tears that want to come out, but they're just right there, almost that, that burning, that tingling up in your eyes and your nose, when you know you're about to cry, but it just isn't happening. Um, I don't know, some of you might be forcing that back, and some of you, the tears are just not falling. But the impression that I got was having to finally let go of something, having to finally walk away from something. And this is something that a lot of you, I think, um, have known for quite a while, that this is something that you had to let go of. But it's painful, and honestly, you don't want to. You didn't want to let go because this is something that you really wanted, something that you really wanted to make happen. And by letting go of this now, there there's something in you saying that it's just not going to come back ever, okay? So there's definitely this fear because you don't you don't want to lose this completely. Now, that's going to be different across the board for all of you. You know, for some of you, that's romantic. That could be a romantic partner. For some of you, that's an ex. For some of you, that is maybe a family member if, you know, there was a loss there of some sort or a toxic connection. Uh, it could have to do with a career or a passion of yours or an opportunity. But whatever it is, it's something that you've been holding on to for a while, even though you've known that it was already over. All right, Capricorn. Oh my gosh, what a way to start the reading. Let's hope for some pos positivity, huh, Capricorn? All right, what can my Capricorns expect for the month ahead? Oh, Capricorn. Okay, so first of all, the Devil card can be seen as a Capricorn card, okay? So being as it's showing up in reverse here, that's showing me that you're feeling out of alignment. With the tower in reverse here, I'm basically seeing that there's this tower that is decaying. It's full of full of asbestos. It's full of mold. It's crumbling. It's It's a hazard, but it's not falling over. It's not being bulldozed, even though it should be. And with this three of pentacles here in reverse, I basically see, you know, something not getting worked on. So with that, I feel like that just really cements what I just said. You guys have been feeling really unbalanced. You've been holding on to this tower when honestly, you should be kicking it down or letting it fall. You should stop working on this because there's no work being done on it anyway. Oh, Capricorn, this is some tough love here. This is some tough love from the universe. Then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So once again, it's time to be honest with yourself, Capricorn. You know, it could be that you felt that someone left you out in the cold, um, whether it was romantic or due to an opportunity or career or whatever, friendship. Um, you felt left out in the cold, and the longer that you've been attaching to this thing from the past or holding on to it, um, the longer that you've been stuck out in the cold because no progress is being made. Okay, so this is really saying let go so you can actually allow yourself to be happy and abundant again. It's possible that some of you, you know, have found that there's areas of your life that are being neglected or suffering because you're putting so much energy and 
to trying to bring back this opportunity or person who's not meant for you anyway. It is time to start fresh and new Capricorn. It is time to harness that full energy, that youthful energy of exploration. It is time to realize that you deserve passion. And not only do you deserve to receive passion, but you deserve the ability to go out there and be passionate. But that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's time for you to realize that you can't give anything stable to this past connection or situation, and it can't give anything stable to you. Okay, it does not mean that one party is bad and one party is good. It simply means that this wasn't meant to be. This relationship wasn't meant to be. This career was not meant to be. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. Because there is the career you're looking for out there. There is the person you're looking for out there. This just isn't it. And it's time to let go of the expectation that you have involved with this, okay? So with this Four of Swords coming up here, this might be a good time to allow yourself, as you're letting go of this situation or person, this might be the time to really take some quiet peaceful time to yourself to allow yourself to mourn, to allow yourself to grieve, because this is a loss. No matter what form this is taking, it is a loss, and it hurts. It is painful, okay? It's frustrating, and I think there's some regret mixed in with this as well. I don't know if that's regret because you feel like you did something wrong or you feel like you could have done more. I'm not sure, Capricorn, but there's regret about the past here, okay? Once again, I'm just getting that let go and give yourself time to mourn. Give yourself time to heal. Do something relaxing for yourself. You know, you're an earth sign, so if you have a garden, maybe time out in the garden is going to help. Um, maybe doing some yard work, actually putting your hands into the soil can be huge. You know, if you have, you know, a tree or trees in your yard somewhere, you know, as funny as this sounds, go up to a tree and just put your hand on the bark. Just put your hand on the tree. Just stand there and just feel the wind on you. Hear the sounds. Hear the leaves above you as the wind moves them. You know, just feel the sensation and let that anxiety, that pain flow away. That's kind of what I'm hearing, Capricorn. Um, and a lot of you might be like, that just sounds silly. Okay, but Capricorn, try it. Try it. What, what can it hurt to try it? You feel silly for a second. That's the worst thing that can happen. And I guarantee you, you're going to find in that moment that you're actually going to find some calm. Yeah, once again, Capricorn, this is saying there was no victory in this situation. There was no way that the situation could move forward and be anything more positive. This just simply needs to end. Oh, Capricorn. Okay, so... What other messages do we have for my Capricorns here for the coming month? And this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm filming this currently in May. It doesn't have to be just for June. This is a timeless reading. So just consider, you know, the next month from now, what can my Capricorns expect besides this whole painful mess? What can my Capricorns expect in the coming month? That's good. It's this is simply going to be the theme, Capricorn. That death of reverse and the seven of swords in reverse here. Some of you might have the inclination to hold on a little longer and try to delay this ending, but really, Capricorn, really, the longer you hold on to this, the more painful it's going to be once it does finally end. So it's better to just cut the cord now. That's what I'm hearing. Cut the cord. Capricorn, cut the cord. You know what you need to do here. You just don't want to do it. Okay? Gosh, Capricorn. This is a tough message. This is a tough message. I'm really feeling for you. I love my Cappies. I love my Cappies. And this is, this is hard. Okay, but I just got something positive, Capricorn. You ready? So I have the Four of Wands and I have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Little do you know 
that once you let go of all of these wands you're carrying, that anxiety, that regret, that conflict, that, you know, um, wanting to control the outcome, you know, all of that extra stuff, giving to this connection that's going nowhere, you know, all of that. If you drop all of that, clear those blockages, this very well could come into your future pretty fast. This is wands energy here, okay? So I basically see that you're going to have other opportunities coming your way pretty swiftly as soon as you start letting go of these things that are holding you back. But if until you do this, until you clear out those blockages and make room, this is just going to stay around the corner, okay? This will not manifest until you do this first, Capricorn. This is extremely important. I'm going to say it again for the Capricorns in the back. If you want this yummy, romantic, you know, stable fulfillment or financial fulfillment or this career fulfillment, if you want this in your life, you must let go of the things that are holding you back clear the blockages, allow yourself to mourn, take that resting period, and make room for this to happen, okay? None of this. None of this. Trying to delay an ending by, and, and for some of you with this kind of seven of swords here, I almost see manipulation here. Almost like a desperate act I hate to use that word, but I'm hearing like a desperate act to delay an ending. So some of you might rush in to somebody else. This person that you, if you're, if this is a person you're holding on to, you might rush into the sphere of this person and throw a very hefty offer on the table. More than you can afford to give. Okay? More than you should give. And I just see it being turned down anyway. Okay? But it's basically a desperate attempt. Or there might be, I'm not sure what this is, but a slight manipulation to someone else in order to try to sway them. Because you really don't want to lose this Capricorn. And like I said, there's a lot of fear attached with losing this. But you got to do it, Capricorn. you got to do it if you want this. If you want this, got to do it. All right, Capricorn. Enough of that. Let's get some cards from the Romance Angels Oracle. What can my Capricorns expect in regards to romance in the coming month? We have finances and career in reverse. We have trust, release your ex, and past life relationships in reverse. Okay, Capricorn. So, if this is in regards to a career, you know, the, the thing that you're not wanting to let go, let go, take that leap of faith, trust that the universe has got you. Don't try to have this crazy control over your finances and career right now, if that's the thing you're holding on to, okay? You have to let go of control to let the universe work in your life. And then we have release your ex and past life relationships in reverse. What else can I say, Capricorn? What else can I say? That's just, it's telling me the same message over and over and over. I was hoping to get more messages for you, but I feel like this message in general is so important, okay? I feel like it's so important, Capricorn, because there, uh, with this Four of Wands showing up in this reading here, I see that you have potential to get so many positive things in your life in the very, very, very soon, um, in the very, what's near future, see, lost words there, in the very near future, I see you guys manifesting this beautiful union, beautiful stability, you know, new foundation, that's what I'm really seeing, is a new foundation after that tower is kicked over, I see you guys manifesting that very soon, however, I'm hearing that, it will not happen unless you do this. 
and I do see an hourglass for some of you. There is a specific career or a specific person that is literally waiting right around the corner. The universe has stalled them in some way. I actually see that for some re reason this job opportunity or this person, you know, has been stalled by the universe. Now this person might not know why they are where they are, where they are right now. They might not know why they're stuck there. You know, this job opportunity, they might not understand why they don't have any applicants right now, but it is because the universe is trying to work in your favor. It is trying to line all of this up for you, Capricorn. But it's telling you that it's not going to do that forever. This is your window. This is your door of opportunity. Okay? But it's kind of like you're going through security. And security is going, okay, you got to drop everything off in this box here if you want to continue on into this new abundant beginning. And you're like, well... I can give you this and this, but um, this I can't, I can't give you. And they're like, well, then we can't let you in. It doesn't, sorry, it will mess with the integrity of the abundance coming in. Or we have this over here, and I'm sorry, but that's going to mess with the vibe, the high vibe that we're looking for. And you're going, well, I need to think about this. And you're just stuck there. At airport security. Is that what you want, Capricorn? <laughs> Nobody wants to be stuck at airport security. No one wants brought into that interrogation room. Okay? No one wants the cavity search, Capricorn. Okay? Now, I don't think the universe is going to force you. Um, well, actually, I, I do think at a certain point you're going to have no choice but um, to let go of this person in some aspects. But in terms of your emotions and your thoughts this is something you could damn well hold on to forever if you choose to choose to do so but this person that you're trying to hold on to this career opportunity you're trying to hold on to it's going to be taken from you anyway this is just saying it wasn't meant for you and trust me there is something better on the corner you just can't see it trust me Drop everything off with security. Walk through the gate. I will replace everything that you gave up and then some. Okay? Trust me. Can you do it, Capricorn? Can you take that leap of faith? Because that's what the universe is asking of you right now. If you want this, take the leap of faith. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there because like I said, this message is just repeating over and over and over and I don't want to beat a dead horse here, okay? I love you guys so much and even though I see there's obviously a challenge here, the quicker that you're able to release those blockages, the quicker you can get into this yummy fulfillment. All right, Capricorn, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like so. I love you guys so much. Take care.